Stop him here and the aviation will flatten everything. And try not to die. Whoa! What? You're just gonna tell me try not to die and run away? Oh my god. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Last Day Outer Survival. Today we're returning. Welcome to week three. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, week three is upon us. We have a whole set of new challenges to knock out, but most importantly of all, the moment we've all been waiting for, the wrecked ship has made an appearance and uh oh speak of the devil we actually have charlie jr over here that we could go ahead and fight a little bit later but first things first we got a battle we got a tussle with the wrecked ship where i believe charlie senior lies in wait so let's start making our way over there we also have a raid a little bit later that we're gonna knock out and we got some stuff we gotta go and trade over at the gas station there's a chopper but it's out of the way and we are here of course for the peace that is resistance of this new season and really quickly before we dive into the wreck ship for today, let's go through not the diary, but the tasks and see these week three tasks that have been unveiled with take part in the final battle with Charlie Jr. As the main one, then just doing a ton of damage. We got to kill some of the zombie officer in 52 bikes, kill some captains at the Oka bushes, kill some captains, yada, 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 kill petty officers, kill zombies in Bunker Alpha, kill frenzy giants. And then here we got a couple more bosses that we got to check out. We got to go and check out Chili Willy at the fourth floor of Bunker Alpha and nauseous tommy at the motel that's a new one and both of which we will be checking out but for now the wrecked ship awaits if you guys and gals are hyped for this hit that like button and give me the power i need to defeat whatever lies within this wrecked ship holy guacamole stop him here and the aviation will flatten everything and try not to die whoa what you're just gonna tell me try not to die and run away oh my god okay hello charlie uh, okay what's up charlie Senior? okay so a lot of stuff's happening right now charlie senior hello buddy okay we do one damage at a time with them with our pistol very not good okay there's a helicopter up above it is dropping grenades on us but oh if we go in and try to bait charlie into the blast radius well, he's the one that suffers the damage. So, okay, some of the different blast radiuses over here are of varying sizes. We just gotta be kind of careful. Oh no, I'm getting hungry. Okay, hold on really quickly. Charlie Senior, how much damage do you do? Four damage, not too bad, not too bad. I gotta shout out on some jerking. Okay, okay, okay. I probably should have came a little bit less hungry over here, but this is the Charlie Senior boss battle. It appears that all of our guns only do one damage, but oh, our bayonet still does full damage. So it does what the bayonet usually does. It does avoid the damage that it is supposed to inflict let's go we got a blast over there on charlie senior i think if we get stuck in the blast oh baby he's yelling why are you yelling hold on can i hit him with the slow motion i can oh that is awesome too that helps us try to keep him inside of the circle dude we got some really good tactics going on here to battle charlie senior in the grand finale of week three this is the event we've been trying to get to for the longest time. Okay, now he's sicking his sailors on us. God dang it, back it up. Oh, no. I wonder if the sailors get blown up, too. I think they can, but we should probably try to shoot them because blowing them up does not seem as productive as possible. I think if we get stuck in one of these blast radiuses, too, we are going to die. So, oh, oh, hit Charlie with a slow-mo. Nice, nice, nice. We got him over there. He does not appear to be regenerating health or anything like that, but he does appear to be summoning zombies, and they crawl out of the ship. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Oh, man, whoever beached the ship is an absolute genius psych how are you gonna beat your ship like this oh wait as we were talking about in our secret note video that in case you guys have not yet checked out this actually looks like there might be some sort of a weird inside job going on where the military or something or they they, they, they knew about charlie senior and they wanted to beach him onto the shore so there's some creepy stuff going on i don't know why i just hit him with the slow-mo over there but i guess i will oh let's not get stuck in that radius looking at the mini map is one of the best ways you guys can kind of see where the blast radius appears to be coming and this is really the, all that you need to do is just kind of kite Charlie Sr. around. And this is just good news because even if you have, like, the worst weapons in the world, doesn't matter. You should still be able to defeat Charlie Sr. You do need to watch out for the minions that he is going to be sending your way. Oh, my God. I just stopped moving there for a second. Oh, my God. He has a lot of people coming our way this time. Ah! Did he get stuck in the blast radius this time? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's just continue killing these sailors. I think these sailors count towards some of our challenges too. So nice little bonus there as well. Oh my God. How many sailors did you people have on board that dang ship, brother? I don't know. Can I like go on? I want to go on board the ship a little bit later too. I want to check it out and see what it's all about. Is that a possibility? Can we arrange for this? Oh, Charlie Sr. was not in that blast radius. God dang it, Charlie. Oh, he wasn't in that one either. Okay, hold on. Slow-mo, slow-mo, slow-mo. Nice. Yeah, if you guys have the slow motion pistol, definitely bring it along. It looks like you can use it pretty strategically. 
in uh, uh, conjunction with these soldiers up there. And it kind of gives us the ability to kind of, if he is stuck inside of a radius that he's about to run out of, inside of a blast radius, you could kind of hit him with the slow-mo. Oh, I probably should hit him with that right over there. It is just kind of annoying, but he doesn't do too much damage, so it's kind of forgiving in that regard. Thank you, Kafir, for not making Charlie Sr. incredibly OP. Don't hurt me. There we go. Hit him with the slow-mo so he gets stuck in there. He's down to almost 500 health. Guys, please, if you haven't already, smash that like button and give me the power we need to get through this last little bit of the Charlie Sr. boss battle without blowing myself up. Because as you guys know, I have a tendency of doing stupid things. And blowing myself up while Charlie Sr. is about to almost die, that would probably cap out as one of the dumbest we've done. Okay? And as, as hilarious as it might be, I want to defeat Charlie Sr. Okay, okay. Woo! Hold on him with the slow-mo. Nice. Oh, no. Our slow-mo is unfortunately about to be over. We are out of durability for that. We do just need to take out the sailors as they run up. I might just try to stab Charlie Sr. a little bit. Oh, that reminds me. I have this baseball bat here. Can I also use the baseball bat to inflict bleeding damage? Oh, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Nice. And we can even use the uh, blast radiuses to take out, uh, whatchamacallit, some of the other dudes running up on us. So a little bit of, a uh, little bit of everything. Let's, mm, uh... I don't know. Let's get him in the blast radius there. And Charlie, uh, you know what? I wanted to feed him with a bayonet. That's what I want to do. I don't want Charlie to blow up. I want to have the satisfaction of finishing this lad off. No, 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 Charlie. God dang it, Charlie. I wanted to kill you myself. Why are you floating around like that? Okay. And here's a moment of truth. Charlie Sr., what loot do you have in store for me? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Pressure bottles, or pressure bottles, or diamonds, or the brego. Hey, better than nothing. Better than nothing. That is what I will say, although I'm not going to lie. I am kind of sort of disappointed by that. That's all that we get for killing Charlie Sr. That is the grand finale of this all. Oh, I can run into the water, though. Will I drown? I hope I don't drown. Oh, my God. I'm getting, like, waist deep. This is some thick water we're dealing with. Can I not, like, loot up any of these shipping containers? Is there nothing else that we do with this event? Oh... Uh, you know what? That's a little bit of a heartbreaker. I was hoping that there would be more. There's a levitating helicopter, though. Hey, helicopter dudes, hello. It's me. Yeah, hello. It's me. Guy with his hands holding up. Um, just want you to know. Hello. Yeah, me. He's dead. Did, did, did you just gonna keep floating there? Keep wasting gas? This is the apocalypse. Like, gas comes in pretty handy, so I guess they're gonna keep wasting it. I wanna see what happens if we run out of the map and then run our way back in for a quick second here, but... It appears that this is going to be active all week. The question is, will it reappear? And will we be able to do this like multiple times or something? I am definitely little. Oh, hello, Charlie. Okay, well, he's just flopping about. I think he's trying to he's trying to slowly crawl away. He's like, oh, I have mercy. That helicopter keeps trying to blow me up. But there you guys have the thrilling conclusion of week three and the battle against Charlie Sr. And the tactics you got to use to take him down. As long as you have the weaponry to take out the sailors, or even as long as you have... Oh my god, it's just so funny watching him flop, flop about, so I suppose that that is gonna be the thrilling conclusion for that. But we still got Charlie Jr. to check out, and we got a uh, raid and whatnot as well that we still gotta pop out today. But yeah, if you guys are heading out over here, as long as you guys have armor and meds, you should be good to go. That's pretty much the main things that you gotta worry about, because once you have that figured out, I mean, literally, the helicopter is dropping free explosives, free of charge, completely free. Usually, explosives are pretty paid for, like the C4 in my chopper that we're going to be using in today's raid. That's not the easiest thing in the world to get, but you know what? I still try to get it. You're telling me that there's this helicopter over here that is literally giving us free explosives. To be fair, it comes with the risk that we blow ourselves up, which is always uh, absolutely thrilling which is just a nice way of putting, oh my God, I might die, I might die, I might die, into words. <laughs> but let's go in with Senior killed. Let's go and pay Charlie Jr. a visit and help out some of these people getting terrorized at the Oak Bushes event. I do have my baseball bat and AK-47. We'll use both of these to just inflict a ton of damage to Charlie Jr. as well, because pretty much both of these guns, well, the baseball bat isn't a gun. Unless someone has, like, a fan art of a baseball bat gun. In which case, I want to see it. Please send it to me. Raider, die! I want to keep this guy alive. There we go. There we go. Charlie, no! Charlie! Charlie, no! Focus on me! Don't kill the nice man! Oh, he killed the nice man. Charlie! Charlie, no! I was sent here to protect these people! Oh, my God. Charlie does not seem to care at all. Charlie, where are you going? Is he running already? Oh, he's fighting the Raider. Okay, Charlie, d do you not know that I exist, buddy? I'm right here. I am stabbing and shooting you in the back simultaneously. There you go. Okay, I think he got the memo. Let's bring out the whole. Oh, 
English is hard. Let's bring out a little bit of that AK Thunder and take Charlie's health a little bit shipped away. Hit him with the baseball bat wombo combo. Mow down some of these petty officers. We're gonna have a lot of looting to do after this. Hopefully we'll find some notes out of some of these fellers. Oh, uh, oh. I was gonna say I should have brought a hatchet, but actually this time around, I think there is a hatchet. My pantalones, no! But, oh, 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 not my pantalones. Charlie Jr., how could you do this to a lad? That's not nice. Don't, don't you ever take another man's pantalones. That's a place that you don't venture to, okay? That is sacred. Holy guacamole, we got some big boys coming our way. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, Capitan. How you doing, buddy? Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, still getting swarm, still getting swarm. Come on, Charlie Jr., keep on running towards me so I can shank you and make you bleed. And then take out your minions over here. I should maybe equip some shotgun rain, but I like using my budget ball and uh, what you call bayonet and baseball bat because they're seriously they're like two weapons or I guess active skill mods or just anything in the game that completely ignores armor. Because you guys can see the baseball bat does 25 points of damage and bleeding or even more maybe. I'm not 100% sure. And the bayonet ignores all armor when it hits. So if we get a critical on the hit too, we can actually get bonus damage as well. So I don't know, just a really nice way of saving durability whenever we got to deal with armored enemies like Charlie. Jr., for example, or maybe the blind one down in the bunker whenever he hasn't freshly ran into a wall. The uh, blind one expertise, or the blind one special, I should say. And let's get a shank off on you. I might just go ahead and mow him down because he should start running at any moment. Now, I think Charlie Jr. in this Oak Bushes event, I think he starts to run away around 800 health or so. Yeah, yell at me, yell at me. Okay, bye. Bye, Charlie Jr. Not nice shooting you. Sure I'm sure uh, Nice shooting at you. I'm sure I'll see you in a couple of days. Now, I got a little bit of a mess I got to clean up here that Charlie Jr. has caused. And I kind of want to see what happens at the shipwreck event if we exit the map and go back there. You know, because, like, technically, I mean, we exited the map, but I wonder if we run away from it and then come back if something new happens. So we'll probably venture our way over there one more time as well. <gasps> The full durability machete. I am a fan. Thank you very kindly. I pretty much am yeah, probably I'm gonna focus on grabbing armor that's mainly kind of has some durability left over. I think that that might be the play. From here, we got another dead dude up in the north. That's just the Zambi dropping his rope. A lot of rope of dope to go around these uh, shipwreck fellers. Let's see. Yeah, let's bring this hatchet out to play and get ourselves a couple of oak logs. There you guys can see all of our raiding inventory we're gonna be using throughout today. We got quite a nice little loadout, if you ask me. Hello, dead dudes. I need your loot, please, and thank you. But with the conclusion of... I do not want to pick up that rock. Uh, with the conclusion of Charlie Sr. and the shipwreck event, or wreck ship event, technically speaking, although... Come on, just call it a shipwreck, bro. Like, it just, just makes more sense, you know? Not wreck, ship, shipwreck. Okay, uh, pointless semantics aside, let me know what you guys think about the conclusion of Season 3 in that... Co not Season 3. Week 1, Season 3. That's what I meant to say. Let me know what you guys think about it. What do you guys think of the new challenges? Which ones are your favorites? Which one do you hate the most? Which ones do you think are just way too much effort for the rewards that you get in exchange for them? And what are you looking forward to the most out of Week 3? Which are the two bosses that we showcased? Or maybe not showcased, but which which are the Chili Willy and uh, the, the motel person. Which of those two are you most excited for as well? Because I'm looking forward to, honestly, mur murdering the, all of them. Because I had no idea that the motel was going to have a new one. Because that one's specific to the premium side of things. Which is, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the premium side of the pass. Which is pretty interesante. Let's see what this oak tree gives to me. Because there's a chance that we get maybe an extra oak log. Not today. We got the usual two that we get, and I think that there is one more tree, and then we should be good to go. Have I already looted all you people? Uh, yeah, I'll pick up that hat. Why not? You know, I, I, I could go for a decent hat here or there. But let me know what you guys think about all the new week three challenges. What do you think about the wreck to ship event, the Charlie Senior boss battle? Because current, not currently. What's the word I'm looking for? It ends in E. Personally, personally, I actually think that it's really freaking cool. Again, I'm just disappointed with the loot that you get out of it. Like, big bones are nice and all, but... After you get enough big bones and craft all of the big bone mods, there's not really much of a point to big bones at the moment. I would have liked to see Charlie Sr. Actually, I will, I, I'll, I will go here. I will go here. Why not? I would have liked to see Charlie Jr. Not Jr. Sr. Charlie Sr. Actually drop something a little bit more in exchange for all of our troubles. Maybe have him drop like a set of biker arm or like something special to season one or just as some kind of decent loot I think would have been absolutely incredible because as is, die toxic spitter. I don't know. It's definitely like a little bit on the disappointing side, but very cool boss battle. I do need to get my props over there. And I like how unique it is having to like kind of, you know, run around and kind of have them jump through the hoops, not hoops, uh, explosives. 
and not jump, more like run. You know what I mean? Metaphorical jumping through metaphorical hoops and all that type of jazz. Below below what you guys think about it in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one a third of the way into the weekly twelve dollar at your touch place store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do as well is make sure that like button. Ooh, make sure that you are subscribed. That's gonna put you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be winner. Will be the winner for the week. I right, that's just a tongue twister in my mind now will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope travel games going up on the channel as well and yolo let's pay the rest stop a visit then we'll go home and uh maybe we'll actually go to the ship next then we'll go home uh, what should we call? We'll put some stuff away. I'll pick up some stuff to trade at the mechanic, and then we will go and raid. I think that's kind of the outline for the rest of the day. But yeah, the notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on full day weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. Like, for example, the Mr. Survival series that a lot of y'all seem to be loving. So if you haven't given it a chance yet, definitely give it a look in addition anytime you guys see new survival games going up, or maybe like a seven days to die, huge seven days to die updates coming soon that we're going to be checking out. And uh, it's called Alpha 8. I'm gonna be adding a whole ton of stuff. We're gonna be starting the series anew because, like, the whole randomly generated worlds. Because, yes, yeah, Seven Days to Die is this huge open world zombie survival randomly generated world with like a whole block placement system. It's pretty freaking insane. Oh, I still need pantalones. Let me whoop those on over so when alpha 18 starts that's gonna be awesome but seriously whenever you guys see something new going up on the channel definitely give it a look there's a great chance that you guys might find something that you enjoy the bejesus out of and hello zombies a shotgun rain to the halls of you that's right i'm helping out the survivors today i'm in a given spirit man we just defeated the season one boss the piece of that is a strong of it all so all in all i'm feeling pretty okay but so uh, yeah make sure to give any of those videos a look whenever you get the chance because there's a great chance you guys might find a series or might find just a type of game that you guys keep on watching because you enjoy the bejesus out of it or let me just go ahead and shotgun rain those dudes over there you guys just enjoy the bejesus out of it or maybe even you start playing the game yourselves from how much you like it so tons of awesome stuff like that and that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest on last day on or the, whenever a new update comes out or whenever new stuff comes out like today week three we're covering it ASAP showing off all the new things we are of course going to go and knock out Chele Wele and uh, all the other new bosses as well no need to sweat but today we are focusing on the shipwreck event uh yeah, hold on I gotta aim at the zombie because then whenever we do that shotgun rain blast these guys don't get salty when I accidentally shoot them or when they get caught in the blast radius so it's a nice little win-win nice little win-win if you ask me any more zombies coming or do I get to kill all these survivors now my shelf because usually I just kind of sit back, eat some freshly popped popcorn, and uh, look at him die. But today, you know, I was playing my part. Because there's actually a lot of EXP to be gotten just from, like, killing all these zombies. So, hello, zombies. Goodbye, zombies. Like, genuinely curious. Are these zombies just going to keep on spawning until the survivors die? I kind of want to test it out. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, B. Can we, can we get an F in the chat? An F in the comment section for the... Uh, the... Uh, Billy? Billy, the... Uh, motorcyclist please f in the chat f in the comment section for billy the motorcyclist he was a great motorcyclist he he popped the sickest of wheelies and he will be sorely missed personally i'm you know i i will start organizing the funeral because it looks like he died to put an end to the horde and he is not gonna get to be here to live and see the day where i murder the rest of the motorcycle camp <laughs> sorry buddy uh had to happen like that Ooh. Ooh, little bit of aluminium and some freshly way better armor than what we're currently rocking. Goodbye, hat. I do not need you. Actually, eh, no, I'll keep the SWAT hat on for now. I'll take the pistol, but I'm probably going to go ahead and swap that out because there's probably going to be better loot on one of these motorcycles or something. Ooh, hello. Goodbye to those shoes. I will pick up that saw blade. Uh, dead guy number two. That's a nice baseball bat, as you guys seen. <laughs> if you get the right mods, baseball bats are actually quite potent in what they do provide. So I'll go ahead and grab me one of those and a little bit of the black rubber pots as well. Uh, let's go and check Dead Guy McGee over here. Dead Guy McGee, you got anything good, buddy? Yeah, yeah. 
And not really. Not really. In that case, I'll probably just get rid of the three duct tape. I don't think I need that much duct tape in my life. And all of these guys are pretty much just going to be dropping cloth and rope. So as nice as that is, I, I'm sorry. I ain't sifting through all those zombies today because today, oh, we got some business that we got to get to. And I am not trying to hello let anything get in the way of our business and us. Oh, yeah. And we still got to siphon some of the gas from this other chopper over here. Oh, baby, that's a lot of gas to be siphoning. That's why chopper events are so freaking nice, dude. This is actually a quarter of a tank on the dot because 40, uh, whatchamacallit, 40 bottles are in, what's, now I was about to say equal, not equal, full. I don't know why I was thinking equal. They are a full tank over here in our motorcycle. 40 of these puppies, so two stacks of bottles with gasoline is pretty much a full tank over here. And that quarter tank was pretty much exactly what we needed. We'll toss some of that over there. Uh, we'll toss the hatchet over in there. And then let's go and kind of loot up the last little bit of what we can grab. Double check on the shipwreck. And uh, then it's time that we go pay a visit to our daily date with Jane. Just to probably get heartbroken because she won't give me my dang Leviathan skin, dude. I, I, can, I, can I not get off here? Come on, Gabe. Let me get off my dang motorcycle. Is that so much to ask? And uh, you are coming with me. You, I will leave five of you behind because there might be something. Oh, yeah, we still got to loot this little middle bag over here. There might be something better awaiting us. And if there's something better, I want it. it. Nothing that I want super badly. So maybe we will go back for one of them tangs because uh, I, I pick up these shoes. These are some nice shoes. Honestly, 10 out of 10 would look at those at dsw again i don't know i'll i'll go to foot locker and pawn them off or something i don't think that's how foot locker works but when i walk in with a couple of shotguns kalashnikovs machetes baseball bats and a whole selection of clothes apparently you know what i think i could start running things around there i'm a i'm a i'm a go into the apocalyptic foot locker and start my own business and it's gonna be popping it's gonna be banging all the zombie hype beasts, oh, they are going to love me. But all right, let's go and double check on the wrecked ship and see if anything changes when we revisit it by like entirely leaving the location instead of just leaving the map and coming back in. See what that's about. But yeah, make sure to have the notification bell hit because whenever something new does come out like week three, we're covering it off. We're covering it and showcasing off all that it has to offer so you guys know what to expect. So you guys can be ready for any things that we do kind of dive into and just overall anything and everything like that that is possible and of course whenever new information comes out about forthcoming updates and or any of that okay yeah charlie's still just over there flopping about hello charlie keep on being floppy i'm gonna make my way back home but uh it's also gonna be a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest of information about last down earth whenever new info does come out about forthcoming updates about any like gameplay previews any new info any teaser images all that type of jazz we are sharing to your eyes and ear holes absolutely asap so you guys know what it means you know what these teasers are and of course we're also breaking it down and kind of connecting it with all the information already within the game to give us the clearest look at the future of last down earth and what to expect out of those updates that's when they do drop, we are going to be checking out to absolutely ASAP. But without further ado, well, we got a lot of stuff we got to put away. And we got a date with Jane. And then we got oh, our daily raid. So I'll talk to y'all. And it's like, and after a quick drive over here to the gas station. Oh, I am so sorry. I may or may not have just dismembered that man. He didn't seem to flinch though. So I'm guessing he's okay, but he just kind of totally got hit by all of a motorcycle. Let's go and take this rusty, the poopiest of the engines that we can trade in and give it to Jane as a little housewarming present. And then we'll give her the actual good stuff that our inventory is loaded up with and cross our fingers that finally, hopefully today, is the day we can get the Leviathan skin. Star, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this glorious thing over here. It is a random perk, quote unquote perk, that you can get out of upgrading your motorcycle. I want it. Why? Because it's amazing. And I don't have it yet. And I just want it. God dang it. <laughs> so we are bringing in all of this jazz that we can trade in. It's a Jane. And uh, hopefully we get some upgrades out of it that... Lead to some good things. We got some wrenches over here. We got some springs over there. And we got... Notelot. I'm just going to continue leveling up volume. Honestly, I sh the strategic thing to do, I'm not going to lie, is to level up as many perks as we can to max. Because once they're maxed out, we can't get it as one of the three random perks. So actually, even though it's not necessarily what I want, I'm going to keep on doing a fuel efficiency or whatever. And as a result of that... 
after we max it out, we can't get it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, we can't get it as a perk because it's already going to be max level. So we can use that to our advantage, max out as many perks as we can. And after that, I reckon eventually the game has to give us the Leviathan. Okay, that's, that's the angle I'm trying to get at. If we exhaust all of the game's options of poopy perks that it could throw our way, eventually we need to get the Leviathan that we actually want. So I'm crossing my fingers that that's the case. But all right, uh, cross your fingers that you're not the base that we're raiding today because the time has come. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's up, 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 back it on up out of this motorcycle. See you later, biker crew. It is my time. Out, out, may have hit a couple railings over there for my favorite parts of every day. Although today, we'll see how the rate goes. There's a chance that Charlie Sr. was my favorite part because engaging in a unique boss battle, always a fun time to me. Uh, and of course, we're not gonna be able to do that ever again, which is a bit unfortunate. I would have liked to replay that because I mean, the loot isn't that great, but I don't know. I like doing cool and unique new things. And I think I definitely like, if you guys agree with me, let me know in that comment section down below what you guys think about the loot and stuff like that. But I do think that Kafir could have had him drop something, maybe be like protecting a chest on the shipwreck, like something like that. Just so there was some kind of loot because the boss battle itself was really cool. I just think the main issue, and I think a lot of us may agree with this, is that the loot is a little bit poopy, but let's grab the C4 and let's put it in everybody's favorite place on a wall of an enemy's base. And without further ado, <clears throat> bada bing, bada boom! Oh dear, bubble, the zombie spot on top of us. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Hello, fast butter, more like dead butter. Hello, floater bloater, more like also dead bloater. Oh, what? Why am I only doing 15 damage hit? Oh, this isn't one of my custom M16s. I think I am using one of the M16s that you just kind of get that come fully modded. Oh, that's the one we got today. Yeah, yeah, I definitely could have tossed a different modification on that to make it do 16 damage because five bullets from a 16 damage gun is 80 health. Oh, well, I wish that this was a functioning ATV, but at least we have an ATV. Ah. I wish that it was a fully working one. Dude, do you know how glorious that'd be if we could literally just raid a fully functioning ATV and just yeet out of a base with one? Oh, man. That'd be glorious. But no, instead, the game is like, oh, we give you ATV, but ATV is inside of pathetic little chest. Hopefully, there's some other good loot, though, because we got about four more chests to break into. Not the most in terms of chests. Make that three more chests to break into. So far, the first two have been mediocre at best. And, ooh, shiny. I mean, it's not the best in the world. I'm definitely gonna take some of these ball bearings because low-key, they're kind of a pain in the butt to find. And we just used a lot of them on a little thing known as, uh, what is it, the Paragon skin, I think? Yeah, no, because the Leviathan... Leviathan's the one over at the gas station. Yeah, we used it on the Paragon. Whatever that skin right now is, we had to use it on that to trade with Lenny to uh, get what we wanted. Hello, back at the best by this. Please give me, you're invading my bubble. Please do not invade my personal bubble, okay? I don't know how prickly you are and I don't want to get this bubble popped. You feel, you feel me, man? You feel me? And this pistol is about to go bye-bye. Holy guacamole, the recoil is real. Too bad, no amount of recoil will save these zombies' lives. Um, I guess I'll take that. And I don't really think I need to grab the iron hatchet. We should be able to break everything in here without a worry we have plenty of noise to spare why are you melting watches my dude what i am big bamboozle right now can you can you smelt those down into gold bars if i just like never oh hello oak if i just never paid enough attention to care about that because like <laughs> why do you have watches in a furnace my dude i don't think that's where watches belong i think they usually belong like on top of a dresser or something and we got some planks over there. Don't really care about the sewing table because that's just going to give us a couple of cloth. Let's see if maybe there's something else in this. Ooh. Okay, I got a couple of things over there. But is there any other chest we can break into? Or is that all that we deal with today? Well, unless I want to chop me down some trees. Spoiler alert. I don't. Uh, it appears that... We've pretty much broken into everything that gives us considerably decent loot. So from here on out, I just got to kind of pick and choose what I want to grab and what I want to leave behind. Also, what we want to store over into our chopper because this is a raid that we got from the raiders. So they're going to be asking for their quote unquote fair share. However, they don't know what a fair share is. 
uh, from the stuff that we stash into our chopper, they never know that this stuff exists. So long story short, always put the most valuable things away into that slot. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing over here. Just anything that they could remotely conceive as valuable. Now, I don't know how valuable half of these things are, you know, by the... By, by over here, it kind of gets a bit sketchy, like rubber parts and tape, eh, maybe. But over here, we got some pretty valuable things, so I reckon it's kind of okay. And then let's just go, and I'm gonna go and fill out the rest of my inventory with some loot that we could get. And I'm just not, uh, I just had to blow through some transistors. I should, honestly, I'm gonna grab all of the stuff that we can actually trade in. That's another thing. I think I might start to focus during these raids a little bit with trying to get some of the things that we can trade in over with Mechanic Jane because we're probably gonna run out because, well, at this rate, Jane's not gonna... Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I do want to max out my bike, so we just need a lot of stuff that we could trade with Jane. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try my best just kind of pick and choose those, although uh, the pickings are getting pretty thin at this moment. I guess that I will take this base's ATV. Thank you for that. Not the loot that I was looking for, but eh, I guess I'll take it. Uh, I guess I'll take some of these. Uh, eh, crowbar, you know, I can never go wrong with a crowbar. And, I don't know, I guess I'll take some animal skin. Let's kind of just take all. Actually, eh, 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 I'll take an ATV wheel. Why not? You know, we took the ATV from here. Maybe it's a sign of good things to come. I'll take the ATV wheel. Maybe it'll be for good luck. Take all the ATV paraphernalia that we can. Glug, 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 glug. I'm drinking your booze. I'm spreading my vitamin P. And I'm going to start bringing an end to this raid, unfortunately. Ooh. I'm so sorry about spitting such hot fire there. Ooh. In case your phone and or computer just spontaneously combusted, I, t I take no blame for it. That uh, Go go call. Don't call your insurance company. Be like, sorry, boys. Uh, just be like, yeah, uh, hello, insurance. It is I. I was watching a Star Slide video. He spits some of the maddest rhymes I've ever heard and my phone combusted. They'll just be like, yeah, okay. You probably just use the flamethrower to set your phone on fire, which I mean, hey, a flamethrower would not be as effective as what we just spit. <laughs> but with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.